So uh, recently I've just gone out and bought myself one of these small HD OLED monitors and um, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, I primarily use it on my Blackmagic Pocket um, 6K cinema camera. Um, I mean, what's to say about it? I mean, absolutely amazing bit of equipment. I only paid uh, $295 for it. They, they had a, a sale on just before Christmas, so I thought, right, I'm going to snap one of them up. Now, I've got nothing bad to say about this monitor whatsoever. You know, there's there's plenty of reviews and things um, on YouTube already, so I'm not going to do that. But one thing that I did have a slight complaint about was the HDMI cables that come with it. Now, I've heard um, a lot of people say that these are proprietary cables um, to small HD, um, when in fact they're not. They are just standard micro HDMI cables the um this bit is just a tiny tiny bit smaller than um than your other standard hdmi cable like like this one here that i bought from uh, a local electronic shop to me um if you look at the uh, the two ends they are just ever so slightly different um so um i mean this this is going to be a, a fairly short video but i just wanted to show you guys how you can save yourself some money because um, these are about 20 pounds in, in in the uk to replace and that's just for for one tiny tiny little cable where in fact you can go out and buy a full-size cable with a micro head or or two micro heads on them and you can actually get this to work um there was this one youtuber that i saw that i'm a great fan of um he uh he, he did a did a video on these and and what he did is he actually just cut the back off with a saw um, we're not going to, you know, quite go like that today, but right. So with further ado, let's get on with it and I'll show you how it's done. So uh, here we have the uh, the two ends. Um, we have here on the right the, uh, the original um, micro HDMI. And here on the left, we have the, uh, the um, aftermarket one. So if I put them side by side, you can see that they're very 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 similar in size so what we need to do so we need to get ourselves a very very sharp knife and we need to slice off down that side and down that side so let's get on with it my knife of choice is a good old traditional stanley knife uh, there i've got a, a brand new blade on it's uh, it's very clean and very very sharp so what I've done, so what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, grabbing hold of it with my thumb and forefinger and I'm just basically slicing um, a nice bit off the side. Like so. I've uh, exposed a little bit of metal there, but I don't really think that's going to matter too much. And let's do the other side. Like so. Once you turn out if you can see that I've got a bit of a um a bit of a lump there, so I'm just gonna shave that off just to make it nice and smooth. Now for the moment of truth. Will it fit? There we go, and it goes fits absolutely perfectly so there we go that is in that fits you have now just saved yourself about 20 pounds by building your own cable